All right. Um, okay. Hi, everyone. Uh, this is going to be um, just for uh, about uh, five, ten minutes max. It's it's something um, uh, that I've discovered, uh, and I tr I tried it for a full workout today uh, using um, a mouthpiece. Not just any mouthpiece, but a um, a mouthpiece that uh, is is banned by the PGA. And I did my a first <laughs> serious workout today uh, to many different movements. Uh, sumo deadlift, hex bar deadlift squat, um, uh, even, in the, even upside down gymnastic movements, uh, T-bar row, uh, 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 kettlebell movements, uh, landmine, and uh, even even some kickboxing uh, and a 45 degree uh, a pull with the barbell, and and I I did some research uh, following when I when I saw that initial video discovery to uh, Dragons Den, which is the the uh, per, the original show that made that inspired the people that created the Shark Tank in your country in U.S. Dragons Den is a uh, Canadian. It's been around over 15, 20 years, I think. And in there, I saw that this video. And uh, what, what freaked me out is that, that when, they, when they said it's banned in the PGA and it's golf, it's only golfing. Fuck, why would it be banned for golfing also? And so I did some follow-up reading online. And mind you, this mouthpiece was invented by a dentist. Okay? And, and the thing is that most people, the vast majority of people have have not perfect and uh, too highly misaligned jaws. We, you know, the hinge is like in, part of the brain also, and also teeth. You know, like like when I close my teeth, it it's like this, okay. And for for particularly really uh, uh, misaligned teeth and jaws like me, it it's a godsend to use this particular type of mouthpiece where you put it on the lower uh, rows of teeth, not on the upper ones. It has also bigger, higher stabilizer from the top and the bottom one. So you can't, you cannot go like this. You can't, you can't, it's impossible. I was supposed to do traditional uh, okay. mouthpiece the way you, you put it on the top row. And um, so, and, and I also read Additionally, on the nature of biting down on your teeth, biting down, closing your, clenching your jaws, uh, when you do the more intense, the more the heavier it is, uh, your physical movements, be be it work and play, the more power the body generates, uh, and that's fascinating. And and this this is quite a massive new discovery for me. And look, I'm going to be turning. 50 this winter, 50 years old, and just when you think you had, you knew pretty much all there is to know, not everything, all there is to know majorly when it comes to uh, improving uh, physical mobility and strength and the reduction of pain resulting from, that, from uh, higher intensity uh, loaded workouts. I you, I discovered things like this a, a simple mouthpiece something you put in your fucking mouth you know and this mouthpiece it made made in such a way where it keeps the middle passage there between your teeth qu it cleared enough open enough so that you can breathe drink and spit uh, quite easily as opposed to the um, some of the others so that I appreciate that a lot today and. What? Now I've got a question for you. Does yeah. it allow you to full like so? You're saying no matter what, it's going to leave a gap between your teeth. Yeah, because is that right? Yes. I'm, oh, actually, I'm glad you brought this up because uh, it's good to mention there. Like uh, for at least an inch, an inch and a half there, the front, there is no mouthpiece. There's just a little, little little piece of the the, the mouthpiece that keeps uh, it the, together. It it keeps it together. When Keeps the two it, sides attached. When, yeah. when you take it out of your mouth, but once it's in your mouth, it it, it it's useless, basically. Ah, it's just that when you take it out, you, 
you don't lose one or one doesn't pop out and fall on the floor and stuff like that. That is how much as I, I can tell, you know. Okay. So and and so um, as opposed to the traditional one, you know, it's one piece. It, you know, it's closed off quite a bit. That does it does it not adjust or does it correct any kind of underbite or overbite? Well, first of all, in like any traditional mouthpiece, you have to boil it. Okay. okay. This one, you have to boil it exactly uh, per, per the instruction. You have to boil it for fifty seconds exactly. You know, I bought my first uh, kettle uh, <laughs> ever just to do that. You know, I and so as soon as it's boiled, you take it out quickly. You go in front of the mirror and you fit it yourself. You put it on the bottom teeth. Right away, you clench down okay. for five seconds, really hard, as hard as you can. Five seconds, and then you take it out quickly, and then you put it in under cold water for five seconds. And then you inspect both sides of the mouthpiece to, to check to see how your your top and lower rows of teeth, the markings, where they're settled. Where if if they're pretty much in the middle, be, uh, between the the two walls, because there's actually walls on on both sides, not just the top one like traditional mouthpiece. So oh, okay. if if you're happy with it. You know, you, uh, that's it. You can do, just do, reuse them anytime you want. Do you, do you have it close by? You can show us. Uh, uh, hold on. Let's, let's just pause this. Okay, so you were asking me to show it. First of all, this is the package. It, okay. This is the higher end. This is the uh, six six DS. It's called six dimensional stabilizer. Okay, so this is the package. It comes with it. Both sides, and this is the actual. You know, it's been boiled down for me. Nice, nice. Okay, so you see that little bridge? Where's the top? Which side's the top? Uh, okay, so this. Okay. This is the top, the yep. bottom. Gotcha. Yep, I see the bridge. So that bridge you see, goes. You, you see, you see, look how thin it is, the bridge. You see? Yeah. And look how wide it is. And, and, and look, there's. There's two walls yeah. to help to center and for lateral stabilization. Nice. See, you see here? Huh? Okay. Yeah. So as you, as you can tell, it's a very different looking, right? Mm -hmm. Than the traditional one. Very oh, different. Yeah. And it comes, it comes in this case. Nice. And it has a little convenient carabiner. So you can hook it on your um, zipper, zipper handle. You know, mm -hmm. it has often a little hole or put it in your, your gym bag and stuff like that. So I cannot say great enough things about this. And it, it is such a new thing to me that last week when I did, I, I did plan to use it. And I left it on in the house on top of the fridge. And I completely forgot about it because it's not intuitive. It's not intuitive uh, at the outset to use this. Yeah. But today, today, jeez. And what I like is that I can bite down <clears throat> as hard as I can. And there's such a thing as I think it's, it's quite healthy to bite down on your teeth. And this is a safe way. This is, will prevent complete, uh, complete uh, uh, teeth, tooth grinding. Yeah. Because right? a lot of athletes, or amateur or professional, they grind down their teeth. And this you can safely bite down on yeah. your teeth. And th there's, I think, a, a, a health aspect to your teeth. When you bite down, it, it, it's good for the roots, the roots inside, in, that... deep inside the gums. And, and I, because it's weird because me for the longest time, I do not eat, I eat very few foods where I'm going to chew a lot. Like I don't, I don't chew gum most of the time. I rarely chew gum. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'm going to start again because it's just the chewing of gum. I like chewing, it, yeah. It, it, even way beyond after there's no flavor, it's, it's, it's good for the, for the teeth. The, yeah. It's called the mastication. And so, but okay, so 
little t thing to end this off. Okay, I made a. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna put two links. I'm gonna well, put one link. One link video link of my short workout that I did. Uh, last Monday or Tuesday, and maybe you have seen it. I shared it on uh, online a little bit, mm -hmm. and it's using. I knew. I knew it existed a movement, but I never bothered to try it before because I just taught myself. Oh, it's not heavy enough. It's not hard enough. Sheer weight, you know, the loading. But you take a giant, I took a giant 120 pound giant rubber band, and okay. at 120 pounds, that means it maxes out at 120 pounds. It's not throughout the progression of the, of the stretching of the rubber band. That's why it's rated at 50 pounds to, to 120 pounds. Meaning, meaning uh, logically, when you're just starting to stretch, Mm -hmm. That rubber band, initially it's 50 pounds, and then it's ah. 65, 60, 65, 70, 75, all the way to when you stretch it at most, which is best not to to max uh, stretch it. Okay. It can break, you know. It yeah. will break if you do that hard enough, long, long enough. Max it out around 120. Okay, so what, what I, you're going to see, I step on it. I, st I put, it, I put the, the rubber band under my feet. I spread my feet just about shoulder width or even a little bit less in my living room i put it i i bend down i put my head my head underneath inside the rubber rubber band and okay. what i did to make it more comfortable i took a towel and i folded it like four times put it behind my neck mm -hmm. and that is over my neck it's draping my neck and yeah. i'm holding it like this because it goes like that, I'm holding like this also. So you're you're standing and, against the rubber band, on top. Well, yeah, like like you're fighting it. To I, stand. I'm inside. My my legs, uh, my feet are uh, inside. And when you see, I'm gonna link this below this video. Yeah. A day, the short workout, and it's incredible. It's incredible because for me personally, even this giant rubber band, I know it. There's like one or two sizes bigger you can buy online. Mm -hmm. But not on Amazon, as far as I can tell. I can tell, you know. Maybe yeah. I, I, that's pretty much enough, you know. Beyond that, why use a rubber band? Might as well use a hex bar, deadlift, real heavy uh, uh, plates itself, you know. Uh, dead weight. Well, the only di itself, difference you know? I can think is that with those, you're you're fu you're using a consistent weight. You're uh, a consistent. Uh, it requires a consistent amount of effort from your muscles. But with a rubber band, as you the more you pull, the more the harder it is to pull. Does that make sense? Yes, but also to 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 uh, qualify uh, and distinguish the difference also is that when you when you're lifting a dumbbell or a, or a barbell, it's the the weight is the same. Okay, it's not progressive. It's dead weight. Yeah. From yeah. from from start to finish. Yeah. And uh, so a rubber band, any rubber band, could be a bungee cord. Also, you can buy it at a Walmart. It's progressive. That's why for the longest time I ne I didn't use rubber band out of naivete or denigration of looking at it. Oh, it's not hard enough. It's not heavy enough. It's not macho enough, you know. Yeah. But I found out it's uh, it's extremely com you uh, complementarily useful, useful because it's best to start with progressive loaded exercise through rubber bands. You warm okay. up the joints, like for the so for that squat. I, I good think I made, point. Yeah. Look, I look. I made thirty-eight reps in 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 maybe less than a minute. Okay, quick like that. You see me going quickly, and for yeah. me it's easy. It's my first try, and it's great for also metabolic uh, conditioning, and and for prepping for uh, for uh, lifting high, uh, heavier weight. And when you see me doing it there, I'm I feel myself almost completely sideways you see how much i bend or i don't bend forward at yeah. the hips at the knees also yeah. you know so i'm doing like a sort of like a hybrid squat also so that it's extremely enjoyable it's a, it's a very relatively gentle exercise because it's it's a progressive and so that's why i recommend a, a, anyone especially the green people the new the newbies the women to look look you want to keep do, uh, doing your long walks or a slow jog? Bring yeah. a rubber band with you. Let's say you, you're going for your walk. Bring a rubber band with you, and uh, with uh, like a closed loop, okay? And you take yeah. it like this. You put it behind your your, uh, your shoulders, and you go like this. 
you go like that. You push. You're doing some gentle uh, bench press chest uh, exercise, you, or, or, you, or you can even, even go like this, which that's would a, be more of a chest fly, while you're walking. That's a damn good point. That's because yeah. w walking is is you know mostly only for the lower the lower body, you know, uh, especially yeah. if you're sprinting or you're going faster than that. So uh, so that's it on that that. Um, Update. No, wait, no yes, a go question, question. I got questions about the mouth guard. Did you, yeah. or did you, did you get a better performance out of it, or was just more of a appreciated, appreciable experience? Well, well, for today, okay, mm -hmm. I didn't, I didn't nearly push myself hard, uh, hard enough. But for whatever I lifted, I, uh, which is um, the hex bar mm -hmm. and, and the straight, uh, the straight barbell, mm -hmm. they're, um, uh, they're two thirty pounds. Okay, and, and okay. it felt much easier. That's the point. Yeah. Okay, and so 230 pounds, uh, well, two, no, two, 250 for the hex bar, uh, second level handle, and 225 uh, rather for, for the barbell, uh, the sumo deadlift. It's, a, it's just much easier, much more comfortable, less, I, I, less uh, prepare, uh, preparation and less bracing I needed to, to do. And none... No, uh, no belts for, for, for these also. I started like especially outside of summertime. Yeah. Even summertime now, when I start my workouts, the the hard hard enough ones where I'm lifting something off the floor, I put knee sleeves on. Good quality knee sleeves on to um to to to, to prep to keep the knees uh, warm. And I recommend everybody to do this, especially as you age past 30, 40 years old, because it's incredible. And, and then I, near the end of my workout, I took them off because they, yeah. were, they were prepped up. They were uh, uh, lubricated uh, and they were warmed up. They, they had already enough blood flow in it because I wore the, the knee sleeves. And here it's really getting cold. Uh, you know, it, it's just five degrees Celsius. Fuck, man, already it's, yeah, it affects the knees. Uh, and if, if if you people are young young enough in the 20s 30s you don't have any 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 knee uh, issues i don't have any knee issues other than uh, uh, other than it takes longer for the knees to warm up yeah to warm up to bring blood in there to warm up where you can really push uh without worrying about pinching uh, uh tweaking yeah. tweaking a a uh, a ligament or a tendon in the knees yeah. Well, now, I had some thoughts about uh, the the mouthpiece you're you're mentioning. Uh, you're talking about how uh, like you thought it was a healthy, like pleasant experience to clinch. And I was thinking, you know, or like to bite down. I was like, I, I absolutely agree with that. I was listening to uh, Jordan Peterson the other day, and he was talking about how like your body reads your own behavior and kind of and responds to that. So if you're kind of slouched and and kind of if you are in a more passive kind of yeah way. if you let if you let your body and mind work together you know, a but, lot of people fight it or don't but listen if you, to it if or if you, yeah you don't listen or you don't what i'm saying though is if you uh if you clinch like that your body is more likely to be like okay we're we you know we're in a dominant active you know getting something done kind of, kind of state yeah and and more more awake yes it tends to make you more awake in a state yeah. you know yeah so uh, that's it for that, and uh, thanks a lot, Jared. And we'll we'll continue uh, another week with uh, hopefully interest interesting knowledge that most of you can uh, share, or if you know friends that can uh, uh, use our um, uh, the information that we share here more than you yourself, sh share it forward. All right, bye.